Welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create blinking lights in PowerPoint. Use these for Christmas or Hanukkah or Diwali or New Year's, any holiday where you want to add a little bit of sparkle. And if you're interested in the more traditional colored lights, then check out one of my other videos linked above and below. All right, let's get started. I'll just start with a blank slide here and I'm going to update the background, just right clicking format background and we'll go with black. And then let's start on the lights. For these, I'm just going to use a shape of a circle. So insert shapes and then circle or oval here. And if you hold down the shift key while you're dragging this, it'll make it the same width and height. So an actual circle. We're going to need a bunch of these. So a handy shortcut is just to do a control D to duplicate. So I'll just do a whole bunch of these here. And then another shortcut, if you select all of these and then come up to align and top. And then we want to distribute them evenly across the screen. So I'll pick up the one on the right, move it all the way over to about here. And then the one on the left over to about here. And then selecting all of them, come up to arrange and align horizontally. And that'll space things out evenly across the slide. All right, we're actually going to have two different groupings of lights. One will be for the glow or blinking part of the light, and the other will be for just the solid or sort of off state of the light. So I'll select the whole group here, control D to duplicate the entire group. And then we'll work on this lower group here, which will be the blinking or glowing state. Let's first update the fill color on this. So shape fill, and I'll start with just the standard yellow color here, but I want it to be a little bit lighter. So coming back to more fill colors and then up to custom. I'll just drag this up a little bit. This is totally personal preference. So feel free to do a whole different color if you want and then click okay. And then we also need to get rid of the outline. So shape outline and no outline. And then we want to apply a glow effect. So up here under shape effects, glow, and then glow options. The color of the glow, I want to go with a slightly darker yellow than what the fill is. So my fill color is in recent colors, or we could just start from the standard yellow color and then go and change this. So more colors. And this time I'm going to go just a little bit darker. And then for the size of the glow, you can sort of play with this as well to see what you like. But if you reduce it, you'll see there's barely any glow now. You can make it a much larger size. So kind of up to you. I found that around nine or 10 points works pretty well for this. All right, so those are the blinking or glowing lights. And then these up here are going to be the solid state or kind of the off version of the lights. And for these on shape fill, I'm again going to start with the standard yellow and then come and update that. So more fill colors. And this one I'm going to go with a darker kind of like they're off something like that. And then we also need to get rid of the outline. So no outline. Okay. Now let's apply the blinking animation. So this will apply to our glowing light group here. So select all of those, come up to animations, and this will be an emphasis animation. It's not here as part of the standard emphasis grouping though. You need to come down to more emphasis effects. And then there's one here in the exciting group called blink. Okay. And then we want to have this blinking continue for the duration of the slide. So select all of those. If your animation pane is not open, you can open it right up here. And then just make sure that everything's selected here and right click on any of them. I'm just going to right click on the top one here. Make sure they all stay selected. So this update applies to everything and then come into effect options, timing and repeat until end of slide. And you saw the preview there, but let's just do another quick look at that in slideshow mode. I'll click to start. And there's our blinking lights. 
Okay, now all we need to do is move these on top of the off version of the lights. So just select all of those, move them up, make sure they align. You should get some guides there to help you. That looks right. And then I'll do another preview of the animations. Perfect. Okay, now we need to put these onto a string or a rope. So I'll just move these out of the way, move everything down. And then to get kind of the icicle effect, we want some dangling lines or dangling ropes up here. So we'll insert, and we don't want these to be perfect. We don't want to go with a straight line, but there's a curve here under the lines section. So select curve. And then up here, just off the top of the slide, click your mouse the first time. And it's a little bit hard to see on this black background, but click the mouse another time, just curving slightly as you're clicking and down a little bit more, click, and then to say you're done, hit the escape key. There we go, now we can see it. And then let's make that a white outline. And I'll also increase the size of that, so weight, and maybe two and a quarter, something like that. Okay. Now you can take those same steps and manually draw more lines, or you can just copy this one. So I'll do a copy paste or a control D to duplicate. We don't want all of these looking the same, but you can just adjust them here. So just move the direction, or you can make it curvier, straighter, whatever you want to do, something like this. So just figure out what you want to do here. I'll just do say five of these but you would take the same steps if you wanted to do strings across the whole slide. All right, all you need to do now is just place the lights on these. Now remember, each light has two different shapes. So we have the off shape and the glow version of the shape. Just as you're moving things, make sure you're selecting both and then place them up here on the ropes. They don't need to be perfect. In fact, it's probably better if they're not perfect. So just select those kind of randomly place them down the rope. I won't make you watch me and do all of these, but go through that on your own version. If you're finding that things look a little bit too squished, like this one is a little bit, maybe space things out a little bit differently, but I'll go ahead and place all of these lights on mine and be back in a second. Okay, here's what I came up with. If you want these to take up the whole slide, easy to copy and paste, control C, control V, just drag the whole group over, something like that. Now, when you do that, make sure the animation is still running all together. You'll see this group on the right is actually got a two on it, meaning that it won't start until the first group is done. So just over here, at least for mine, on this one, say start with previous. And now everything's part of the same group. All right, let's take a look at our handiwork. I'll go into slideshow mode. I've got this set to start on mouse click, but if you wanted to just set it to start with previous, then it would start right away when you get to the slide. But I'll click to start. And there are the blinking icicles. Yay! So that's it. I hope you found it helpful and that you can use this on some presentation coming up to add a little bit of sparkle. If you found this helpful, I'd really appreciate you hitting that like button and also think about subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching.